Do you write code in Python? Do you use PyCharm as your IDE? Are you seeing the error? No Python interpreter configured for this project. Well, I have a good news for you. In this video, I'm gonna be solving your error. No Python interpreter configured for this project. I'm gonna be exactly breaking down the reason you see this issue and I can give you a guarantee that you are not going to see this error ever again in your lifetime. Hey everyone, my name is Harry and in this video, I'm gonna be solving no Python interpreter configured for this project. We'll see why this error occurs and we'll see what to do to avoid this error in the future. All right guys, so as you can see that I am inside my PyCharm and I see this error, no Python interpreter configured for this project. What do I do? How to solve this problem? Before explaining why this problem occurs, I would like to solve this problem for you. So all you have to do is click this configure Python interpreter and this is actually a link which will take you to the settings. In case you're not able to click this link, you'll have to go to file and then you have to go to settings. It'll open the same thing. Then you have to click on project interpreter. Once you do that, you'll see that project interpreter is no interpreter. Now, all you have to do is click the drop down and you have to select a valid Python interpreter. Let us say you don't see any Python interpreter here. Then what you have to do is click on this gear icon, click add. Then what you have to do is click on system interpreter and then click on these three dots. And all you have to do is paste the path of your Python installation. What does that mean? That means that you must have installed Python inside your system. You have to bring in the full path of the location where you installed Python and you have to paste it here so that your PyCharm could know that Python is here. Python.exe is at this path. For me, Python is installed at this location. This is the full path of my Python installation. See users, RS app data, local programs, Python, Python 3732. Now, many of you might say that I don't know where my Python is installed. How do I know where my Python is installed? In that case, you have to install your Python again period. You cannot afford to simply go to different folders and search for your Python installation and who knows that the installation is not the latest one because there's no guarantee that the python.exe that you are talking about is the same as the python.exe that you installed while installing Python. So all you have to do is to copy this full path wherever your Python is installed and come back to your PyCharm and you have to paste it here. So for me, I'm going to paste it here and after pasting it here you'll see your python 3732 the python install location here all you have to do is click python.exe and then press ok and you'll see your python interpreter here then again you have to press ok and you'll see your python interpreter here and since you have selected a python interpreter your error will go you have to click on apply though and you have to click on ok and boom this error will go uh, give it some time, it'll definitely go and boom, it's gone. Now let us test whether I can use my PyCharm to run this program. I'll do right click and then I'll click run. As you guys can see that I can see my output hello2 here, which means that my error is solved. I hope you guys have solved this error too. Now why did we see this error? Let's talk about it. So PyCharm is an IDE, it's not an interpreter. When you install PyCharm in your system, what you're doing is you're saying that I am gonna use this IDE for running my Python, which is installed somewhere else. So what you have to do is you have to tell your PyCharm where your Python is installed. In most of the cases, PyCharm will automatically do that. PyCharm will automatically detect your Python installation. But in some cases, PyCharm cannot do that or PyCharm might fail to locate your Python installation. In that case, you have to click on configure Python interpreter or you have to go to file, then settings, and then you have to click project interpreter and then you have to select the project interpreter, the interpreter that you want to use. You can use any one of the interpreter if you have more than one installed. Installing more than one is not recommended at all. But again, if you want to, you can. 
if you don't see any python interpreter you have to click on this gear icon and then you have to click on this add and then system interpreter and then you have to click on these three dots and then you have to paste the full python path meaning the location where you have installed python after that you have to click on python.exe and after clicking on python.exe you have to click ok then ok again then apply then ok again and you have to give it some time once all these processes are done running you can go and grab a cup of coffee if it takes time but you have to give pycharm its time to index all the files and everything once it's done you are good to go you can write your python programs peacefully you can write whatever you want i can write hello world as well and i can right click and run my file and you can see that i see this hello world output on my output console so guys i hope you like this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and give me a comment down below saying a thank you or at least tell me that your problem was solved I'll be very very happy to know that. So guys hope I solved this error. If I did give me a like and subscribe to this channel. That way you'll have access to all my courses and I'm gonna be dropping courses on Python along with whole bunch of good stuff. So if you are interested do subscribe this channel. In case you want to learn Python I have a Python tutorial as well. So do check out my Python tutorial on this channel. All the links in the description. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I'll see you next time.